Sonic the Hedgehog vs Donkey Kong Sega's Blue Hedgehog vs one of Nintendo's earliest icons. Who will win? Let us know your pick in those comments below with either hashtag DK or hashtag Sonic. Hey everybody welcome back to Versus, a series we do here on Top 10 Gaming where we take characters from your favorite games and put them in a hypothetical match against one another. Today we're looking at two of the gaming industry's most familiar faces, Sonic the Hedgehog and Donkey Kong, and seeing how they would fare in a fight. Now, A few rules before we begin. These two are going one on one, meaning no help from any of their pals. They're also Facing off on a neutral battleground, a flat barren landscape, so that neither of them have any location advantages. Also worth noting, while we could use this video as an opportunity to dive into a bunch of compilations of Super Smash Bros matches featuring the likes of Nintendo's Ape and Sega's Hedgehog duking it out, instead we're going to compare these two characters and their abilities from their own individual games in order to determine who would win the fight. Now, with all that in mind, let's jump in. Let's start off with the origins of these two characters for some context. Donkey Kong first hit the scene in 1981 as an arcade game. Miyamoto was assigned to convert the game radar scope into something that would be more appealing to American players. The game had previously tested poorly with audiences. This led to the creation of a game where a character named Jumpman, who would later become Mario, had to climb up a construction site and avoid obstacles like barrels and fireballs in order to save his girlfriend Pauline, all from a giant ape who went by the name of Donkey Kong. This was a massive hit for Nintendo, and the game became one of the best selling arcade machines in the early 80s. The Donkey Kong who first appeared in that 1981 game isn't actually the Donkey Kong in modern iterations of the character. The DK from the first game is actually his grandfather Cranky Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. is his dad. The DK that we now know and love is actually Donkey Kong the third, who made his debut in Donkey Kong 64, developed by Rare. Compared to his grandfather, DK is carefree, kinda lazy, a beach bum, but a trustworthy hero. He may not be the brightest of Nintendo's roster, but he's always been reliable, and one of the gaming giant's most iconic characters. Let's move on to Sonic. Sonic debuted back in 1991. At the time, Sega was trying to figure out how to compete with Nintendo, whose Mario was making major waves in the industry, both commercially and critically. So they held an internal competition at the Sega Technical Institute to find a new mascot for the company, which led to the creation of two very important figures in the Sonic franchise, Sonic himself and Dr. Ivo Robotnik. The game stories were much simpler back then. Sonic had to stop Robotnik from taking over the world. A year later, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 would come out, and Sonic would have a new buddy in the form of Tails. This game, along with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which introduced Knuckles the Echidna to the mix, had been hailed as some of the best Sonic games in the franchise. These days, fans can reminisce about the series with Sonic Mania, a game developed by hardcore Sonic fans and published by Sega that's a remix of all the original Genesis games. We'll just try to forget about some of those other 3D games that the publisher has been pumping out lately. Moving on to abilities, Donkey Kong is a power type. He's strong and agile. He's got tremendous strength, superb swinging and climbing skills, and can produce destructive sound waves just by clapping. His punches are immensely hard. In Donkey Kong Country Returns, he punches the moon out of orbit with his bare fists. He's also a to mental attacks the likes of hypnosis. Aside from punches and claps, DK is known for having a super strong headbutt, and has used his bongos to create vicious beats to harm foes. Moving on over to Sonic. Sonic has considerably more experience on the battlefield than DK. I mean, both have gone on many of the adventure, but Sonic has faced off against more godlike forces, strange creatures, the occasional demon, and a whole lot of dangerous machinery. Sonic's main jam is speed. He's been noted to be the fastest thing alive, and can instantly accelerate into exceptionally fast speeds, eventually reaching greater than Mach 1. He is acrobatic, agile and has enhanced strength. He can lift objects several times bigger than his own body. His primary offensive maneuver is the spin attack, to which he embellishes with several variations. In addition to all of this, Sonic can use the power of the Chaos Emeralds to transform. When he has all seven collected, he can enter a super state, transforming into his ultimate form, Super Sonic, making him near invulnerable, amping up his regular abilities, and giving him the ability to fly. The only downside is that this state requires a lot of energy, meaning he can't maintain it for an extended period of time. Sonic has also transformed into other forms. Hyper Mode, Dark Spine Sonic, Excalibur Sonic, and the laughable Sonic the Werehog. And turns out Sonic does have one weakness though. He's a bad swimmer. But that doesn't mean that he can't go into water. Alright, moving on to the fight. This battle can be boiled down to speed versus strength. If we're looking at the classic versions of DK and Sonic, Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. wouldn't stand a chance against Sonic. His speed would be enough to burst through DK's barrels, and his spin dash would likely knock the ape out. But if we're looking at the modern versions of both, the playing field is a little bit more even. Like, a bit. Donkey Kong may pack one hell of a punch, but he doesn't stand much of a chance against Sonic's speed. Considering he's often depicted as a slower character, Sonic would surely run circles around him, and Donkey Kong wouldn't have much defense against his attacks. Poor DK isn't the type to rely on his smarts in battle either, so there's not much in terms of alternative methods that DK would be able to pull from in order to combat Sonic more effectively. And the winner? 
Sonic. Donkey Kong is a worthy adversary, but the blue blur is way too OP in comparison to DK. Sonic's speed is way beyond anything Donkey Kong could keep up with. Alright, what do you guys think? Do you think Donkey Kong deserves a bit more credit, or is Sonic the rightful winner of this hypothetical battle? Let us know all of your thoughts in those comments below. Now, if you dug this video, hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for all things video games, from lists to news to highlights and updates, and verses. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.